Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. This is a video that I, if you were asking me a year ago if I would ever create a video by wearing only the wear makeup, I would say no. No because it's too damn expensive, no because even though I may be able to afford it, I'm just not feeling comfortable in purchasing because it is so expensive. But since I am working for Sephora now and I started to receive certain things from them in gratis and uh, also have the discount, um, I decided to go and purchase a bunch of things from Dior to have a full face of makeup. So today we're going to do a full face of Dior makeup on my face and hopefully with this uh, sale that is creeping on us you might be able to find some good Dior products that you want to grab on that sale so let's get into it shall we hi there so if you're new if you don't know my name is Cosmina hi it's so nice to meet you thank you so much for stopping by if you're interested in makeup videos with from somebody that just literally has fun applying makeup and just kind of do some gratis haul because uh, I am working for Sephora as I was mentioning earlier but also I love a mystery box so if you're interested in things like that you might want to stick around and press that subscribe button but also that like button as well before we go into our Dior makeup which by the way here it is, a full, full, full thing of here. I have almost everything for a full face. What I didn't have, I replaced it with some things that I, I think the quality is right around there. But before that, I purchased, I purchased this earlier uh, this week. This is the Sun Safety Kit from Sephora's Favorites. I wasn't able to find it online for some reason. I'm not sure if my store just received it earlier or something. I have no idea. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure when it's going to be coming online. I hope it's going to come online soon. But for now, I know for sure it's in the store. I do want to use one of, their, uh, one of the items that is in here. So I'm going to use this one as like a sunscreen for myself. This is Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. This was one of the reasons why I purchased this because um, I love Dr. Dennis Gross as a brand and I tried a bunch of things from them but the sunscreen it is one of the items that I haven't had the chance to try just yet so I'm gonna apply this one all over my face it definitely feels very very lightweight and very moisturizing in the same time but I can totally see the white cast on my skin and that's something that I really really do not uh, like about certain certain sunscreens but this is how this looks on me so I can still see a little bit of that white cast it's not a whole lot it definitely feels very hydrating and very very lightweight but we'll see how the makeup is gonna go on top of that we shall see I do not have a primer from Dior but what I do have I have a primer from Marc Jacobs and I am gonna use this undercover blurring coconut face primer just in areas where I feel like I need a little bit more blurring so I'm gonna apply a little bit of this and this one is actually a pretty good one. I'm not sure what's happening with Marc Jacobs. If they're actually going to continue to uh, sell the products online or just kind of trying to eliminate their stock. I, I really have no idea what is going on. So I'm going more my nose, a little bit on my cheeks. And I'm going to go in my chin area because those are the problem areas for me. Like where I feel like I need a little bit more blurring. Right, so for foundation, this is exciting because this is going to be the, the first time trying a foundation from Dior. And I purchased the Dior backstage. I got mine in 4WP. 
hopefully this is not gonna be too dark on me but we shall see this is for warm peach it says and this is the your backstage face and body foundation this is supposed to be a professional performance with waterproof and sweat resistant I mean that sounds amazing and I'm feeling like I want something like that for days where I'm going somewhere that is going to be a very very long day and especially now that I am going to be even more busy than before I know that sounds crazy but I am going to be even busier than before but this one says Dior has created its first professional makeup line a collection of makeup artist essentials inspired by the energy backstage at the runway show. Shades to suit all skin tones in exclusive, versatile, and buildable texture. Um, so I am going to try to use this one. It looks very dark, but I hope it's not going to be that dark on my skin. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it's going to go. Uh, but I was saying, yes, I'm going to be even more busier than before. I used to uh, be pretty busy because I am going to school and then I work at Sephora, but now I am going to add an internship to that, which sounds insane. <laughs> oh, no. uh, but we shall see. If I feel like I cannot do it all, then I might just have to give up uh, working for Sephora, which is not something that I want to do right now, but I, I, you know, if I can do it, I cannot do it. You know what I mean? So. We're just going to go and blend this in. I haven't applied too much because I don't want to go too crazy from the beginning. It's definitely a little bit on the darker side, but that's okay. It's okay. It's not too bad though. I feel like I need more, right? I feel like we need more. We need more. It's definitely a very, very sheer coverage. So I'm going to apply a little bit on here on the forehead. It's definitely the, the, the squeezy part of it. It's not something that I really like. But you know what? I understand it. It is very, very clean. And especially for makeup artists, is probably... The best way to have it. I, I'm being honest. I, I just looks like it looks so natural. I wonder. Okay, I added a whole lot now. Okay, so not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. I like it, although it does not cover fully all my redness or all my imperfection. It makes my look, it makes my skin looks very natural and perfected, which I really do enjoy. Like, look at my skin. How beautiful is that? I'm trying to see how much coverage it says. It says medium coverage. It says light nude coverage. You can use it. Use your finger to gently dab one layer foundation. For a medium coverage, it says apply two layers with a flat brush. And that's what I did. And then it says for full perfection coverage, use a round brush and apply up to three layers. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to apply three layers of foundation on my skin. But I like how this is looking right now. The color is not too bad, to be honest with you. Uh, definitely, it could be better. But I feel like this is not a bad match. And I feel like this, for summertime, it might be the exact color that I need when I get just, just a little bit tan. So, this... It's a good start. It's a good start to our, day, our day. It's definitely looking absolutely beautiful. And it feels like nothing on the skin. I'm just very, very surprised right now. Next, we're going to go with this concealer. This is the Forever Skin 
correct concealer. I have mine in 3CR, it's 3 Cool Rosy, and I love this concealer. I already know how this concealer performs, and uh, I really do love it. I love it. I haven't bought the new Backstage one. I am interested in purchasing that one as well, but I was thinking if I want to wait to get that one, or should I just kind of uh, do the review on these right now, and then dedicate a whole review to that concealer and I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with my trusty brush from Rare Beauty. This is the concealer brush and go ahead and blend it. I know right now it's looking a little weird because my concealer is way lighter than my foundation but that's not a problem. We are going to correct that. Um, I don't have something to apply for under my eyes to like kind of make sure that my concealer is not breaking because I do have this Dior powder, uh, no powder from the backstage line, but this is in 4N. So I'm thinking this one is going to go all over the face, but for the under eyes, I am going to go with this one from Marc Jacobs. This is the Finish Line 34 Invisible, and I really do enjoy using this one a lot this one and my um, Huda Beauty powder are like the best powders that I've seen and that are just long lasting or like prolonging the concealers life I'm adding a little bit of this powder in certain areas where I usually tend to get a little bit more oily which is like around my nose Right here, I'm going to do a little bit on the top, and then I'm also going to just do it right between my brows and around my mouth. And this is how it looked right now, a little bit crazy, but that's okay, that's fine. Uh, I am going to go in with this Dior one. I This is what made me go ahead and purchase a, a whole face. Well, some of things uh, they were gifted to me. Some of things I bought. This one I purchased. Uh, the same thing with the foundation I purchased. The concealer, it was given to me in gratis. But this is absolutely beautiful. This powder is amazing. I have... I would say the closest one to this one, it is the one from uh, Kosas. That is very similar to this one, but this one I feel like it has such a beautiful blurring effect without um, noticing any sort of powder on your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. I Like I said, it's in 4N for neutral, and I'm going to go and just apply it all over my face. Look how beautiful that looks. It looks such natural and so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm loving, loving how it looks so far. So before we move, move to like a bronzer and blush, which I do have, and I haven't tried those. I'm really, really excited to try those as well. But before we go there, I want to try their brow product. I've seen a lot of people raving about this and i be honest, I used it in one of my clients and I really did enjoy it, how it looked on her. I'm not sure if it's going to look the same on me, but I am hoping it's going to be a good one. So this is the Dior Show Brow, brow Styler Crayon uh, Ultra Fine Precision Brow pencil and I have mine in 002 which is dark brown like I said I have not tried this one so I am kind of excited to see how it goes so we have a brush on one side so I'm gonna definitely brush my brows first and then we also on the other side we have this one so we just kind of twist it and it's right there and it's a very, very precise one. So I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to create hair strokes and it's going to look good. You know what I mean?
Okay, so not necessarily the hair stroke vibe, but it looks really beautiful and very, very natural, very easy to use. So I like it so far. It looks pretty. So not disappointed with this one. Now, let's see what we're going to do for the eyes. I do want to apply this real quick before we move forward. This is a lip maximizer. This is the Or Attic Lip Maximizer. It is a really tiny one that I got in gratis. Um, and this is, does it say the shade? I don't think it does. But I believe it's the lighter shade. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this to just kind of plump the lips or get them a little bit more hydrating. I like this one because it doesn't feel bad on the lips like the one from Too Faced. This uh, actually is very, very easy to um, wear. It doesn't feel anything other than minty. Right? It doesn't tingle or anything like that. And I do like how um, how soft and beautiful it makes your lips. Alright, so let's go to eyes. Now, I don't have necessarily a traditional um, eyeshadow palette. But I do have this highlighter palette. Which is Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. A professional performance pure shimmer blendable highlight and blush this one i'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow palette but also i'm gonna use it as a blush i am gonna go in look this is how it looks like it is really beautiful this one is in 002 glitz and i am gonna go into this darker color which is a beautiful brown I haven't swatched this, so I'm not sure how it's going to look like. I'm finally going to use my um, Sonia G brush. I haven't used it so far because I really want to feel bougie today. So I'm going to go with this Dior one and see how much pigmentation we can get out of it. Oh, yes. Pretty. I do need a mirror. I haven't purchased their um, eyeshadow palette. I wanted the backstage ones, but the one that I really wanted, it was out of stock. And uh, the other ones that they have, the, the, the quints, I guess you call them, I'm not really that much drawn to. They're very expensive as well. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use the highlighters because these definitely look beautiful enough to be able to use it on your eyes. And it says it is for the entire face. And eyes are on the face too, right? <laughs> but this looks absolutely beautiful. Just look at my eyes. How beautiful that looks on the eyes. Huh? I love it. I love this. And now I think I'm going to go with this shade right here. And I'm going to apply that one more in the inner part. All towards like dragging it towards this brown. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, I love how this is looking so far. So we're going to leave that there. And we're going to take the bronzer out. I'm very excited about the bronzer. Um, I felt so bougie when I was purchasing these. I was like, oh my god, this feels so amazing. This is crazy. I can't believe it. Okay, so this, is this the one? Yes, this is the natural bronzer. Forever Natural Bronzer in 05. It says healthy sun-kissed skin bronzer, long wear, perfecting, and comfort. And look how beautiful this is. Sorry, I had to stop. My dog started barking because the FedEx guy uh, came over. But this is how beautiful it looks. It's just a gorgeous. And look inside. This is how it's looking. 
very very pretty i cannot wait to put it on my face this is how beautiful it looks the packaging absolutely adore this packaging feels so bougie like if you it's the squishy part on top and of course it has this double d's right here but look how beautiful it looks inside this is in five warm bronze so let's see how this is gonna transfer to my face haven't tried it yet so i'm really 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 excited let's go ahead and just kind of grab a little bit mm. wow that is definitely very very pretty like sun kiss oh i love this let me add some more so this is how it looks like on this side and i don't have anything on this side see how pretty is that i love it oh my god this bronzer is everything it's so beautiful oh, guys oh my god this might be my favorite bronzer so pretty so pretty now when you're gonna see the blush you're gonna die this is such a beautiful blush oh my god you have to see this this is beautiful very expensive I don't know right now exactly how much it paid for it but I'm gonna put it on the screen how much it is very expensive so this one it is the rouge blush blush powder uh, couture color long wear powder blush and this one comes in the satin little thing that it comes on top of the packaging very bougie again and this is in 219 it's called rose montaigne um and this is how it looks like the packaging this is on the back as well it's so beautiful i was staring at it the other day um and i was just like mm, i need to create this video as soon as possible because i need to play with this this is really beautiful this is how it looks like so 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 pretty it does have comes with this uh brush which i don't think i'm ever gonna use it but it comes with that okay uh let's see i think i'm gonna go with this brush and i'm gonna apply it right over here mm. so pretty And it has that beautiful shimmer to it oh my god how how gorgeous is that huh it has a little bit of the orange tint to it but with a little bit of pink in there I'm not sure if the lights or the camera it makes it justice but it is just divine divine so to finish up our look, I'm going to go back to our uh, bronzer. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of it on my brush and kind of apply a little bit of right here to just make it a little bit more, you know, deeper. And then I'm going to get this brush and I'm going to go on the bottom with this as well. So this is how it looks right now i am going to add a little bit of my liner i have two liners from them these are the ones two pencil liners i have one in black and i have one in blue i'm definitely gonna go with the black one because i wanted to keep this more in the natural side i like how this looks look like and i don't want to change it too much but i am going to apply a little bit of this liner this is called crayon eyeliner waterproof and this is supposed to be definitely waterproof and is in zero point it's zero nine four noir trinidad trinidad black i am gonna be like tight line 
and that's how it looks like. I did just a little bit to tight line and I used a little bit in my waterline as well. I am going to use both of these mascaras. I love, love the Dior show one. This is my favorite one in 090. Amazing, amazing. The most natural and very easy to wear, but I'm gonna put the pump and show as well with it because I just wanted to give it both of worlds. So let's go and apply this one first. So this is how it looks like with just one coat of pump and show. Now we're gonna add one coat of this one, Dior Show. This is amazing for volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean under my eyes because I still have some of that powder. And I am going to add the last touch for this makeup before we apply the lipstick. I have a bunch of lipsticks from Dior, but I chose the one that I feel it kind of looks the best. Let me go ahead and apply highlighter. And I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here for a highlighter. The uh, blush is pretty shimmery. So this one is gonna add just a little bit more shimmer. But look how beautiful that looks. It doesn't emphasize my texture whatsoever. And that it is insane and very, very, very surprising. The light, it's a shit show today. I uh, apologize. I do uh, let a little bit of that natural light coming through and it's just keep changing because this is Washington State and uh, the, the sun is not sitting still, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on the forehead as well. But this is how beautiful it looks. I am loving how this look came, comes together right now. Let's go ahead and apply that lipstick that I was talking about. And the lipstick that I'm talking about, it is this one. This is in Daisy Plum 976. This is gorgeous. Every time I apply this, I, mm, I love it. I just freaking love it. And it's a plum. Not a lot of people are really attracted to colors like this one, but this one is also the metallic version of the lipstick from Dior, which is beautiful. The metallics are just gorgeous. How beautiful is that, huh? You just applied half and look how beautiful that looks. So here's the final look. What do you guys think? I am just so in love with this product. Uh, very, very, very beautiful look. It looks absolutely amazing. The lipsticks, the, 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 the foundation, everything that I tried from them today, it is top notch but let's go through every single one of them and let you know which one i think it's worth it more than the other so the foundation beautiful i love how this looks on me i love the fact that you can play with it the way you want it you can add more if you really want to go for full coverage you can add less if you want to go for lightweight and really like you don't see much but what i like the most about this one it looks absolutely natural and it has a very natural has a very natural look to it you can still see some of my imperfection uh coming through but that's not not a problem for me I like that now I'm starting to embrace that and it's just oh so beautiful like you already can see it it looks just so so natural so I love 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 this so far love this 
The concealer, I already know how it is. It's full coverage. It's beautiful. It's lightweight. It doesn't settle. It's beautiful. I love, love the concealer. I also love the um, lipstick and the mascaras. The one that I would say it's not necessarily worth it, I would say the liners. The liners are okay. They're not, I'm not saying they're bad liners, but I feel like the price... It might be just a little bit too high. You can get something different that is way lower price and it gives you the same effect. Now, this highlighter, mm, so beautiful. And to be able to create this beautiful natural look with it, I think it's even better. Just imagine getting this, this, and then the uh, Dior powder with you somewhere. And uh, mascara and you're done you don't have to do much you can create something very natural and very pretty in the same time this one I already told you I love this powder I, it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's my favorite powder so far and the blush is beautiful very very glowy I would say maybe too glowy for me but it is beautiful um the bronzer it's a must have the bronzer is just so natural and it doesn't it doesn't look like it, you add anything extra it looks like you got bronze it's just so pretty so pretty today another one that i would say not necessarily worth it would be the um the brow pencil i mean it looks beautiful but you know there's so many others out there at a better price that you'll be okay without but yeah this is uh, this is what i have for you today thank you so so much for watching thank you so much for being here let me know down below what products stood out the most for you and i cannot wait to see you all next time don't forget to give this video a thumbs up have a nice one bye